I think when you look at COVID, a lot of the restrictions are starting to finally get removed at not just the local level, but even federal and even other countries. And so that's been positive. Airport traffic is clearly up, but it's even bearing out in the numbers. You know, for many of our markets, absorption has been positive for the first time since pre-pandemic, which is huge. And it's not just the tech firms. For instance, in DC, we're, we have now seen eight law firms take over 80,000 square feet of just expansion in the last few months. One of the things I found particularly interesting though is that in recent conversations I've had with a lot of large corporations, there has been a subtle shift um, in what has been kind of the ultimate goal for these companies. You know, during COVID, risk mitigation with the pandemic, with the uncertainty, that was the number one thing that a lot of these large companies were focused on. But recently, we've detected a shift back much more into the profit maximization. One of the reasons is some of the economic headwinds that we're seeing, particularly with inflation, but also too, companies realizing that in order to achieve profit, they need to get people back into the office. And it's only in an office environment where companies can truly flourish and achieve their true potential. Certainly the life sciences sector has just exploded over the last couple of years in popularity based on everything that's tied to the pandemic. And so what we're looking at right now, and certainly it's early, uh, are just a couple of other markets that uh, might benefit just given the geopolitical situation of the day. Uh, the first area would certainly be defense and cybersecurity, given everything that's been going on recently with Russia and Ukraine. And Northern Virginia submarket has been a big beneficiary of a lot of those tenants over the years. Um, might that industry or those industries continue to grow over the coming quarters? We will see, but given the recent news and developments surrounding Amazon, that submarket certainly seems poised to be headed in the right direction. And then secondly, the energy markets. You know, clearly uh, that market has just taken a brunt of a lot of the negative press over the last five years, but uh, given some recent activity, that might be in a new cycle and, and something that we're monitoring markets like Houston.